Okay, so we're, we're doing a little bit of coloring today on wheels. I'm gonna try to change my, the color of, not necessarily my wheels, but a few different scoot wheels that we have at the shop. I'm gonna try to see if this like chrome color works. This blue should work just fine. And of course, we have our primer, or primer. So, I'm gonna grab a couple more colors. I definitely wanna get like a really bright, vivid color, and I, I want the blue because it matches my shirt like pretty well. Which, by the way, you guys can go grab some of the new merch. This is the new doodle design at www.raymondwarner.com. The link will be in the description below, or you can click that card right there. That'll take you straight over to the site, get one of the new pieces of merch because they're freaking fire and they're going quick. Anyways, I think this is gonna be the standout and I'm really hoping that this works and looks good. I was thinking maybe doing like one of these texturized looks to it, but I'm a little worried that it's not gonna turn out looking like this. I'm pretty confident it's not because it never actually does, but that would be really cool. Uh, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe a green. Yellow might be cool. No, definitely not an off-white. Hmm, mint might be sick, but I kind of already have a blue, so we're gonna skip out on the mint for today. None of these look very colorful at all, so. It's looking like green is gonna be the way to go. Plus, I do have green grips in my car right now. I've got some green vital grips in there that I might be down to throw on my scooter. Sorry. This color looks pretty sick. I'm trying to keep it closer to the cheaper end because, I mean, in reality, I could get some crazy looking color like this right here, which it's got like purple, blue, and a little bit of green in there, which would be really cool. But that's a $7 can of spray paint. I don't know. Should I do it or should I just go with the green? I think I'm just gonna go with the cheap end today. I'm just gonna go with the green. If I wanted to do that one later, maybe I will. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to do another video like this with like some sparkle colors. But I think we're gonna take these right now, go pay for them and go straight to the zone and make the entire shop smell like spray paint. There you are. Perfect, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, got all the stuff I need. Now we're going to scooter zone. <laughs> it is currently 10 p.m. The reason we are over here filming so late is because I actually got here earlier and there was a kid's birthday party going on. Happy birthday, Matthew, just for a little addition in there. And there was a lot of noise in the background, so if I would have been filming, you guys would have barely heard me. So, we're doing it now, and Steve is gonna, he's gonna aid us in the filming process, I'm right? I'm Fat Steve is here. Fat Steve is here. <laughs> So, we have all of our supplies. We have our masking tape right here. Should have gone with the blue one, but I didn't. And we have our primer right here. It's just a white primer, nice and simple. And of course, our three different colors of spray paint. Still really curious as to how this chrome one is gonna turn out. I'm really hoping that it turns out nice. Um, although, I do need to choose the right color of the first, like the previous color of the wheel to make sure that this looks decent. Got our blue, got our green, hoping that this one's really fluorescent as well. Now, let me show you guys our wheels that we're gonna be doing these with. So we have our three wheels right here. We have two gold wheels and this polished one. Now, this polished one I think is the one that we're gonna use for the chrome color because I really want this to stand out. But we're still gonna primer it, of course, because the, the chrome actually has to stick on there. It's not really chrome, by the way. Um, it's not like a chroming process, but it's the same color. We'll just call it chrome. Now, obviously, with the other two, we're gonna do the green with the gold, as well as the blue with the gold. Really curious to see how much primer we can get on this, um, but I'm gonna show you guys the step-by-step -step process to do this if you want to change the color of your wheels. Now, let's get this started. So to start the process, uh, step one is to grab the wheel and clean it as much as you can. Reason is because you're gonna be putting a lot of tape on this wheel and you wanna make sure that, that tape sticks and stays there. So I just usually wipe my bearings off pretty good as well as the whole outer side of the wheel. Try to get into the inside too, just cause it does help. So 
So to start this process out, what you want to do is you want to cover the entire urethane up with masking tape. Make sure you do a really good job on this because this is going to affect the final product that you have. You're also going to want to cover up your bearings. You do not have to take your bearings out of your wheel. Can if you want to, um, but I just cover up this little area. Just does just fine, does the trick. So let's get that done. All right, so I've got my wheel completely taped up, got my primer, got my spray paint. Make sure you guys have a good little area to spray paint on. I've got Hayden to help me out with that one. I got this piece of wood we're gonna put on some concrete inside of the skate park so we don't make a huge mess. And we're gonna make this gold wheel blue. Jesus, that one was way loud. <laughs> If you guys are doing this, make sure you're not wearing an awesome shirt like I'm wearing right now. But if you do want to get this shirt, you just go to www.raymore.com. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, turn around. Make sure you guys have your parents around if you are young because they'll probably get really mad at you if you make a mess. So, like I said, gonna start out with our primer. Our wheels already nice and clean. And we don't have to worry about making a mess on our actual urethane or anything because we got both sides painted up. So, you do wanna do this from a little bit of a distance. I'd say probably around 10 to 12 inches. Not super, super close because that's how you get bubbles and like little um, puddles and things like that. So, a little bit at a time with primer. Also, if you're doing this in a very closed area, don't. Do it in a large area where you're not gonna get destroyed by fumes, okay? Because this stuff's not good for your lungs, just so we're all clear on that. I'm spraying at Hayden. <laughs> You're gonna wanna flip it over and do the opposite side as well, which I'm gonna do here in just a second, but make sure you guys let this stuff dry for a while before you come back and start spraying it with spray paint. Definitely a good idea because if it is wet and you start spraying this stuff all over it, it's gonna mix and it's gonna look really, really bad. So let that thing dry. And while we're letting this one dry, I'm gonna go in the back and I'm gonna tape up those other wheels. So it's been about 15 minutes since we left the wheel that we primered. Uh, so we're gonna try to paint on this one right now. You should probably should leave it for a lot longer, but we're trying to get this video filmed and ready for you guys to watch. If I was to make a recommendation, I would say let it dry for at least, an hour is probably killing it, but I would say 40 minutes just to be 100% sure that that thing is completely dry and ready to be painted on. So let's spray that wheel with blue, see how it looks. Um, no, it's pretty close. It's pretty close to dry. Okay, maybe I was wrong. 30 minutes, you should be chilling. Hayden said shake it a lot. So we're shaking it a lot. Shake it, more. baby, shake it. Oh, Drops it. Just... And it just blows up. <laughs> Look at you. Dude, it's almost the same blue as your shirt. Dude, that blue actually looks pretty good. Looks way better than that gold. Oh yeah. Same thing. You guys are gonna want to make sure that you're not spreading super, super close. I'm kind of far away. Just giving it like light strokes like this. Take your time, don't rush it. Cause if you rush it, it looks like crap, trust me. Well, you gotta put some finesse in there, right? Get that salt bay going. There you go. I'm gonna screw it up. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I think it's a really nice blue. I think it's gonna turn out pretty cool, but same thing. We're gonna let this thing dry for a little bit. We're probably gonna give this one uh, maybe 30 minutes just because this is a lot thicker of a paint. It's not an, it's not a primer So let's, we're gonna give that a little bit of time to dry off while that one's drying. I'm gonna primer the other two Can we just point out real quick that uh, it matches your shirt almost it does, to a T? Dude. Almost it's like perfectly. spot on. I picked a good paint boys. He did. Doodle paint. He did. We're calling doodle that paint. doodle paint <laughs> All right, so we've let the wheel dry for about 20 minutes now, and I'm gonna start it off with the green. So make sure you guys do stick around till the end of the video if you guys wanna see the chrome, because I personally am super curious to see if this is gonna come out like this. <laughs> green wheel, time to let this thing dry. Look at all the paint. Wait, 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 wait. 
Oh. <laughs> Yo, nothing. What are you talking about, dude? Look, there's nothing there. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't do anything. Normal to me. Nothing. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, that is looking pretty nice. And we still only put one coat on there. If we would have put more than one coat, like three, I should be super gnarly, dude. Like the blue one, we took some time on. The green one, I kind of rushed because I didn't like the fact that it was like a matte green. But this is looking like, I mean, if this starts out as like a chrome, like a gloss chrome, we're taking our somewhat of time because I'm really, I really want to see I want to see it come good. out really good. But this is what they do with all the Lambo wheels. 100%. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right, boys, here we go. Moment of truth. Yeah, it's definitely coming out like a silver. This side we put a lot more like, a lot more paint on there. Oh yeah, a lot you just kind of went. Yeah, I just held it down <laughs> because it wasn't doing what it said it was doing. So let's check on this blue one really quick. Okay. Let's take this one into the workshop, peel this paint off and see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have my bag laid down right here. We're gonna set this wheel down. It's probably gonna stick to that. So there's your bearing. Let's take this tape off. Wait, before you take the tape off, just hold it close to your shirt without actually touching your shirt. Pretty close. It blends in on the yeah. camera. Yeah. <laughs> All right, dude, going from that gold wheel. So we'll go back and I'll show you guys what that gold wheel looked like right here. So that's the gold wheel that we had before. This is the same exact wheel. Dude. Uh, it's so much better, dude. This is something that you can do on a wheel that's really old and you're just over it. You don't, it doesn't match your scoot, whatever the case may be, or if it's just like really scratched up and you just want to change it up a little bit. This is an easy alternative. All you gotta do is have some tape and a can of spray paint and some primer. That's literally it. And you can change the entire style of your scoot. I bought the cheapest spray paint. Like I said earlier, I wanted to keep it cheap. So this is the cheap alternative. And I bought the cheap primer, which I think was four bucks as well. And tape was a dollar. So it's nine dollars, and you can do it to so many different wheels. Like, cause that we still have three quarters of a can of spray paint. Boom! That's one bright green. I'll tell you that. Both wheels started from black on gold. Now we have the black on blue and the black on freaking gnarly green. What a difference! Just a full-on transformation. <laughs> All right, let's go check on that chrome one. Okay, we've got our chrome wheel right here. Looks like this side is standing out a lot better than this side is. Um, like I said, I was a lot thick. Why is it every time I start to film, I get a message? Way, way thicker on this side. So let's see how this turned out. No bearing to pull off, so we're just gonna go. Dude! Dude, I feel like this is like an unboxing. See that oh, thing? Oh man, okay, so this is the side that's a little dull. Not terrible, but this side, dude, this side looks way, way, way oh, better. Yeah. You can definitely see that we put a lot more time. We didn't even put more time. We actually put less time into this side, but I sprayed it on way, way thicker. It does have a bit of a shine, not as much as I thought it was going to, but again, this is only one coat. You probably have to put like probably like three, at, at least three on this to get that right shine that you're looking for, but I don't know if you'd be able to get it as shiny as that cap was on the spray paint like bottle or can I should say, but it, it looks okay. It looks okay for one coat, and uh, I think all th all three of the wheels turned out super super good. The green, the blue, and the I'm still gonna call it chrome. Um, they turned out really really good. Which one is your guys' favorite? Let me know by clicking that card right now. You like the green? Do you like the blue? Or do you like the chrome the most? So I think my personal favorite is still gonna be that blue. And just the fact that this has such a big transformation for me is, is really really cool. But if you guys want to do a little hack to your scoot, you want to change the way it looks without having to go out and buy brand new wheels or brand new forks or whatever. This is a good way to do it. And I think next time we do something like this, I think Hayden has just given us permission to do it on his deck. But until then, this is Raymond Warner and Hayden signing out for the day. So until next time, we're out of here. Later.